Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got today the unveiling of our beautiful team of the season so far car design. And they actually gave us the full design today, which I think is pretty cool. We're going to take another look at it over here again on Twitter and, take, and talk about it a bit. Uh, but I like that car design. It's cool. Um, I'm not so sure about the green. Uh, you know, if we take a look at this again, I'm not so sure about the green here, boys. Uh, what this green, like the outline. I feel like this card, if it had a gold outline, like this, this kind of like bright gold along the outline, it would look a little bit better. I wonder if they're putting in this like green color uh, because there were so many people who complained during team of the year that the pack animation looked just like UCLs. So I wonder if they're putting in this green color to make the pack, the pack animation be more of a green color. That way we can actually tell when we're getting a TOTS card. I don't know, that's just my my first off theory. Uh, but this is a pretty cool card design. Uh, it's different. Uh, it's like mostly blue, but then you have the gold. It's kind of, you know, breaking out with the with the shards up above in the top right. You can't, kind of, you can't see it, it's behind my face cam. But I like this card design, it is cool. Uh, and so that was basically all of our content today, which is kind of, you know, something to laugh at as well. Not really to laugh at, but just to, that's the state that we've gotten with this game is that uh, a pack design is considered content. Other than that today, I think we got the La Liga challenge. We had the Serie A challenge yesterday. So now we have the Bundesliga, uh, Serie A and La Liga challenges have all come out. And I don't even know if there was a league on, uh, in the pack code, but it would make sense if they were going to put one in. Uh, but that, uh, has not come out yet. So we'll see what happens. I would be very curious to see that if they don't have a league on challenge, does that mean we're not getting league on team of the season? I don't think we that I don't read I wouldn't read into that at all, but that's just something I thought about since we haven't had the league on challenge yet. But we've had all these other ones. So other than that, really no content today. So not a ton of stuff to do. So what happens when there's not a lot of stuff to do on this market? Cards rise in price. I posted a uh, a picture this morning on Twitter of me flipping a few cards. This man right here was the one who I flipped a majority of last night uh the cards are fluctuating right now boys cards are fluctuating a lot this hudson adoy i bought last night uh late late mon late sunday into monday um 230 240 000 coins i sold them for 260 this morning uh people a, a lot of these cards rose throughout the day today because nobody had anything else to do and uh so they just went out and they bought some of the cards because obviously these prices are a lot lower than what they were 93 all of these at 300k or below again here are the hudson adoys i got this sun at 243 got a sale at 267 which was nice and then a couple losses that i had uh had taken earlier in the week that are still there so uh my recommendation to you this week would honestly be don't be afraid of trying to trade cards honestly do, do not be afraid of trying to get on the market because especially here on playstation i'd be a little bit skeptical about xbox uh, as the servers look to be pretty slow, which is probably going to be an issue on Friday for Team of the Season. But um, as it, we're going to take a look at Flippin while this is trying to load, and you'll see that a lot of these cards, especially on like the lower tier end, rose today. Uh, a lot of the lower tier end of cards rose today on the market, and that kind of tells me that maybe more of the casuals uh, on FIFA today were involved with, with buying cards in the market just because there was nothing else to do. And a lot of the casuals maybe don't understand the market as well as some of us do. Guys that play this game day in and day out and, and really pay attention to this stuff. Um, a lot of those guys probably just don't understand it. But if you look at a lot of these card prices, uh, they're up today. Mendy, 600,000 coins. Um, not this set is what I'm looking for. Marcelo last night was 1.09. He's now 1.2. Again, it's kind of on like a per card basis because Ben Yedder was 1.45 last night. He's still 1.45. Uh, but a lot of the lower tier stuff, as I mentioned before, started to rise today as well, especially if you look in some of like the winter refresh section. Um, uh, I think that, where's my guy at? Uh, Mateus Cunha is up. He's 2.24 right now. He was like 2.05 uh, last night. Uh, future stars have risen today in the lower tiers. Telemans, I think, what, what is Telemans? Uh, Palacios was like 180 yesterday. Tamori was 400k yesterday. Um, Olmo was like 120, I think. Hudson Adoy, again, so shows 268 uh, right now. He was 239 last night. This guy's actually kind of low still, Telemans. I like that at 210k for a flip. 
But if you guys want to make coins right now, which I know a lot of you guys are probably trying to make some last bit of coins before Team of the Season actually starts, scroll through these Team of the Weeks, scroll through these promo teams, uh, and these cards fluctuate, especially on a lower level. Uh, these cards are fluctuating daily, and people are buying these cards um, because I think they're just seeing, hey, this stuff is too low. They're, they're playing the game of FIFA midweek. Again, people are still at home with not a lot to do. Uh, as you can see, Kappa this morning hit a, a low of 117K. He hit 115 throughout the day, and then he just kind of rose right back to 130 throughout the day today. And that was the case with a lot of these cards uh, on the market. Uh, Werner is up. He was like 400 and I think he was like 420k. He was 400k at one point, uh, but but he is up. So again, a lot of these cards, especially on the lower tier, like cards under 500,000 coins, wrote yeah. Werner was um, that was Sunday. Werner was 400k this morning, man, and now he's 450. He was 428 at one point, and now he's back to 440. So uh, in forms, special cards that are out of packs, uh, especially if you're on the PlayStation. Now I'd be a little bit more cautious on the Xbox because there's just not as much. Um, demand on that console for uh, you know a lot of different reasons just because there's less people playing this uh hold is 143 last night he had a peak of 157 today uh so right now it shows him as 149 on the market so if i could pick myself up uh one of these informs for like middle 140s it looks like i might be able to get a sale somewhere around you know maybe like 157 158 close to 160 Maybe with like a Hunter Kemp style or something like that. So that could be something uh, that maybe we're having server issues. EA, what is going on right now, man? I'm just trying to make a video about your game. There we go. Uh, so yeah, he, he shows his 154, 155. So maybe with like a Hunter Kemp style, you might be able to get like 160, of course. Because uh, people are still paying for those Kemp styles. Yeah, there's a Hunter at 165, 158 with a Hunter. So like when you see a low price like that on Flippin', right? Uh, Holan says he was 149 and it says it was updated 47 minutes ago. Uh, you might, you might want to sit here for a couple minutes, right? Maybe refresh the price, uh, and, and try to snipe him a little bit and see if you can get an undercut because, uh, a lot of people just look to take sell prices and they look to sell cards based on a foot bin price. So they'll go over to foot bin, they'll see that this card is 149 K and they won't think twice about actually going to look on the market and they'll go list the card up and, and try to sell it. And then maybe they're like, okay, so he's 149. Let me let me throw him up at 145. And then I know I could probably get a sale at like one um, closer to 160 on this card on like an, an upswing, especially with a good chem style. Uh, so I would look to pick that card up and then possibly make you know five, six, seven thousand coins of profit on a flip like that. And when you have uh, coins, you can make a lot of small flips like that, which is what I did this this morning from last night into today with basically these just these two cards. Uh, spending, you know, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes looking at these cards on the market and, you know, picking up pro <coughs> probably somewhere around like 50K uh, total profit right here after tax. Actually, maybe a little more. Uh, so those are some nice flips that, that any of you guys could have done uh, with most of your coin budgets uh, with that. So the one thing that I'm kind of interested about this week is I still feel like they're going to drop another SBC or two before the promo actually comes and like to try to maybe drain some coins off the market because yes, we did see a rise in the market today. I'll show you the index special just as a little bit more proof. And I know a lot of you guys want to buy your teams, right? And I've heard some people say that the lowest point was going to be Wednesday. I, I don't believe that. I was pretty adamant um, on, on Friday night and on Saturday and even on yesterday on Sunday um, when I was thinking that the lowest point was going to be at some point on the weekend. It definitely was. It was the Saturday, the midday panic that was almost like a magic event, unexplainable, like really weird. And then also on, on Saturday night into Sunday morning, uh, stuff got really low as well. Um, so that was kind of like your low point. And now cards are just starting to rise again because there's not much to do in the game. And people are starting to buy their teams back because they're realizing that prices are, yes, really low. Um, but there could be another round of panic. And we'll kind of, you know, process that information later on this week there could be a little bit of a round of panic maybe on friday depending on how they juice the cards who gets in and especially before premier league team of the season on that friday there could be some more panic so a week from this friday before premier league team of the season there could be some panic then too but we'll talk about that in due time when it comes if you haven't bought your team and the players haven't moved much like we looked at some of these informs 
Uh, let's say somebody hasn't moved much, like maybe this Mbappe is maybe only up like 40, 50K. You could still see a fluctuation, maybe a 10, 20, 30K undercut, and then one more person undercuts that, and then boom, you're right there at a low price. So still look for some of that stuff on the market. But again, just to prove the point, 103 points on the index special early this morning, uh, and then we rose all the way up to 107 points as of just about right now, early Tuesday, when I'm recording this video. Uh, so it was a rise in the market, man. A lot of the, this is the index special on Footbin. So a lot of this stuff rose. What about index icon? Let me take a look at this. So this started the day at 50 points and it's up to 50.7. So a small rise, if any. Um, and then index gold, I'm assuming this might be up as well. 52 points up to 55 and then, you know, kind of down a little bit from there. But uh, SBC fodder wise, we didn't get a pack supply SBC today. Uh, just the, the Bundesliga booster, which I think is untradeable. It is. Or the Serie A booster. No, never mind. La Liga. We've got all three of those in packs. I, I'm getting them confused. Uh, but it looks like some people might have gone in and bought some 83s. Last night in my video, I shouted Sigurdsson at 1,000 coins. Looks like he's 1.2k. Again, I want to see this fodder drop, man. I don't know who's investing in fodder right now. I don't get it. I don't. If you're investing in fodder, uh, then you better have some sort of leak that an SBC that is a big SBC is going to be coming uh, before Team of the Season starts on Friday. Because if we don't get any SBCs uh, throughout this week and we don't get any big SBC on Friday, first day promo day, which even if we do get an SBC, there's going to be so much supply from lightning rounds and people who have saved up their packs that won't be able to hold them any longer, uh, we're going to see this fodder drop. So if you've invested in fodder, I think that I would get it out sooner rather than later. You're hoping for an SBC at some point this week. Do I think that's anywhere out of like the realm of possibility? No. I mean, it's it's very possible we could get some sort of SBC this week, like a player SBC. I mean, they already dropped the Twins SBC right here, the Silverware Twins. That's got two days remaining. So if they're going to drop an SBC, though, before Friday and Team of the Season, I think they would do it today on Tuesday because then it could be out for three days or for four days. Then they could take it away. So I would assume that if we get anything, it might be today. What else could we get today? Um, maybe another like a, a, another loading screen, uh, the possibility of another loading screen, I guess. Like uh, maybe they start to tease who might be in because I think the votes are technically done and they're being counted right now uh, for who's actually going to get into team of the season most consistent. So the voting for that is actually over. Boom. Look at this, man. A 149. So I'm going to add that to my transfer targets. And I'm also going to add this one with the open bid, right? So somebody's already dropped a bid on that one. Uh, but I'm going to add this 149 because now somebody has listed at 149. And that, again, kind of sets its price there. All we need is one more undercut. And then uh, we're in luck for a very flippable uh, Erling Holland. The Dude, this guy's going to get a team of the season card as well. I, I'm honestly, I'm very stoked for Bundesliga Tots because it's going to be an insane time uh, on the market with, with a lot of the Bundesliga cards that we could get this year. I mean, there's a ton of already like Boateng, uh, Alaba, the, the the center back cards. And we have like, what do we have? We have Kabak, which has gotten a pretty good card. We have a lot of really good Bundesliga cards. Goretzka's got a couple. He's got an inform, a road to the final. Of course, Lewandowski, Werner. Uh, a lot of Bundesliga cards this year. I'm really excited to see what team the season brings for those cards. Uh, so yeah, again, if you're wanting to trade in this market, again, don't be that scared. You, you might think that, okay, uh, th there's nothing to trade with right now because there's nobody on this game. That's actually very false. There's actually a lot of people that are buying cards. So get on the fluctuation trading, man. Out of pack specials, get on the fluctuations um, and watch those cards fluctuate day in and day out. And if again, if we have a, a day or two days of, of no content coming up in foot, that's just going to make prices rise a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, and even on some of these gold cards, last night Mbappe was around 420,000 coins, which he still is, still right around the 420k mark. Neymar is up a little bit from where he was on uh, Sunday. I think he's 540. Uh, maybe he's reaching towards 550. Getting close to 550 is Neymar. But then on the lower end, I was looking at Hyunmin Sun last night at 100,000 coins flat, and I believe he's somewhere... Uh, like 106, 107. So he's up, you know, maybe 5% today. A little bit of a rise on some of these meta weekly gold cards. If you want to do a little bit of investing or possibly like Thursday flipping type things, uh, the, the earlier that you buy, probably the better. 
Conte was 120,000 coins flat on Sunday night. And I think now he's uh, he's upwards of like 130k. Uh, but that's just kind of just kind of how it goes, man. A lot of people are now taught to buy their teams on Sundays. So that's why you see uh, a lot of these prices going up. Gold De Bruyne as well was 90,000 coins. I think he might be like 95k now. Looks like he's even higher than that. He's inching closer to 100,000 coins. So a lot of this stuff is, is really starting to just slowly pick up, especially on the lower tier end. If it's meta, uh, then it's probably rising. And if it's uh, a good links, good nation, of course, all that good stuff, then it's probably rising right now on the market as people are starting to buy their teams because they're getting ready for team of the season. And also there's just nothing to do on this game right now, midweek. Uh, and also, these servers are so bad, man. Are you guys having this issue? I mean, this isn't anything new, but it's just exceptionally bad tonight. So, um, you have the green light for me to try to trade this week. I don't know if I'd really mess around with icons. I have a couple of them. It doesn't look like their prices have really moved that much. If I could search the market right now, I would do it. But I'm kind of stuck on this loading screen for whatever reason. So, out-of-pack specials, informs or promo cards, uh, you can absolutely try to trade with those this week, trying to make some last minute coins before team of the season actually comes out. And then league SBCs as well. Bronze pack method is supposedly very profitable right now. I don't mess with that that much, but a lot of people are saying bronze pack method is very profitable because people are probably doing league SBCs to try to stack up packs for team of the season most consistent because last year, that was the only way to get packs. We didn't have upgrade SBCs during that time. And again, be on the lookout for more info from EA about team of the season. They're giving us a tidbit every day, whether it's a card uh, or, you know, like an update to the card, which we now have the full uh, card uh, design that we're gonna have in game. So hopefully they give us some more tidbits of information as we go throughout the week this week. Maybe like if they're gonna be updating the, the uh, weekend league rewards and stuff like that. That would be nice to know earlier ahead of time. And that could also cause some market movement. So just be on the lookout for that sort of stuff this week. And hopefully your servers are better than mine. If you enjoyed this video, a little market talk video about team of the season, which is coming up really soon. And I'm starting to get tots fever, man. The upgrade packs, all the sick cards. It's going to be gobs of ways to make coins. It's going to be an insane couple, actually like month and a half if they run it like they normally do. It's going to be a while that we're going to have to be in the middle of team of the season so far. So if you enjoyed that video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.